Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. This is going to be a Wednesday short video uh, just to show you how I use my ABBA stand to lift my Honda CRF 300 Rally. Now this might seem like a slightly daft thing to do a video on but someone had asked about it and quite a few people have inquired about the stand. Now the stand itself is made by ABBA stands here in the UK. They are now available in the US as well and this is essentially what it's like. So it's got these uh, three legs I suppose with a wheel on four corners so one wheel here, one there, one there, one here. Um, and then this whole frame here is what actually lifts the bike. So these two fittings, this is a specific fitting kit and this kit is not designed for the CRF 300 but they do fit into the, the mounting points below, below the pedals just perfectly. I think it's actually from uh, 2018 Panigale 1199 uh, but it's basically two 25 millimeter uh, adapters and you can get adapters for all different sorts of bikes. So just to show you how that fits on there. So you basically put those in there this end piece comes off like that. Uh, you slide this under the bike, you put that one into this hole, then you slide this piece in from the other side onto the end of here. So it's basically gripping the bike between those two points. You lock it off using these and then that's kind of it. You can use the, uh, the hydraulic lift then to lift the whole bike off the ground. Now, in addition to that, there is this point, I don't know if you can see it on the back there, and you can put a strap around that, which is this strap, put that around the swing arm or around the back of the bike and that will actually hold the back down. So as you lift it up, then uh, the front wheel will come up in the air. So if you've seen any of my videos where I was working on the bash plate, that's exactly what I used for that. Uh, you can also get an arm, which I have, which goes through this piece here uh, that also uses that same fitting if you want to lift the whole bike level. Um, there's a few things you have to do to actually lift it from this point because it's actually designed to work with the swing arm so I'm sure if they probably do do adapters that will fit into here onto the swing on bolts, but given that these holes on the CRF are already there, um, I think it makes sense to use them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I fit it to the bike. Um, I'll explain it first. So the very first thing I do is I put my motocross lift underneath the bike and just lift it up. I then have to take off this foot peg. Now I only have to do that because I've got the Zeta or Zeta potato, potato. The, the stock foot pegs don't get in the way. These Zeta foot pegs, because they're that bit wider, they do snag, so I normally just take this one off. You don't need to take it off on the other side because this piece here is longer than the same on that side. Uh, and then that's kind of it. Then I just maneuver the stand in, put this piece on the far side, and then start pushing the pedal, and then it will lift it. And then there's these holes here, so there's this locking pin that you put through there and then that holds it there so you're not just holding it on the hydraulic piston. First thing I'm going to do is just to remove this foot peg and then that pin just comes out and then there is that the spring through the middle oh, and a washer on the far side. There we go. Let's put all those bits uh, to one side because I'm probably going to need those when I reassemble. Next thing to do is to put the bike up on the motocross stand lift the bike up. Next thing I do is just put the side stand up and out of the way. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wheel the ABBA stand in. That comes over the top of here and then that plug just fits into that hole and I'm going to lock off the wheels. That's kind of it from this side. I'm now going to go around the other side and put on the other, the other half of the lift. And on this side, I just slide that on and put that in the hole. Maybe I can. Oh, there we go. That's in. That was easy enough. So then it's just that hand bolt and that hex bolt to do up. And that is kind of that done. And then the last thing we need to secure it is just to do this, um, do this mounting bolt up. Just check to the other side to make sure that's all secure. So now all of that's in. All I need to do is just take the motocross stand off and we're, and we're good. So the very last thing is just to show you how to lift it. Um, that's the release for the, for the hydraulic ram. Um, you can just pump it with your foot. When you reach a hole, put that locking bar through and then you can release the pressure just so it's not the ram that's holding the, the weight of the bike. And that is it. That is as simple as that. So you can actually move the bike around once it's on that pretty easily. Uh, you can pivot the bike. Like I said, if you, if you pull the back down, um, you can easily rock it up and over like that. 
So that's it. That's my really short video on how to use the Abastan Skylift with the 2018 Panigale 1199 adapters to lift the Honda CRF 300 Rally or the Honda CRF 300L. It does seem to work pretty well. I wouldn't use this all the time. Um, I've just got the motocross stand that I use if I'm doing some uh, just basic maintenance or I just need to, to get the bike level for any reason. But if I'm going to be doing any work, uh, particularly on the suspension or anything that means I'll be applying a lot of force to the bike, it's just a really stable way to hold the bike. Uh, I've used this when I uh, took the forks off. I've used this for doing my rear shock. Um, I also have adapters for this other Skylift that fits all my other bikes. It lifts my R1250 GS, which is about 250 kilos, uh, three foot or even four foot off the ground uh, with relative ease. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. And um, they do another stand called a superbike stand, which isn't quite as fancy um, in that it doesn't have the hydraulic lift. It doesn't go quite as far. If you want to get the bike level and you want to lift it using these adapters, then that works perfectly well as well. So hope this has been interesting and useful. If it has, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.